4 with this breaking news update within the past few hours. We have learned new details about yesterday's violent mass stabbing in Rockford. Four people were killed, including a 15 year old girl who died trying to save her sister. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live in Rockford, where today the main suspect faced a judge charged with murder. They were doing what we all do, what you should all be doing. It's spring break. You have three girls watching a movie. I can't even comprehend that. The four people who lost their lives, 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb, 23-year-old Jacob Suba, 63-year-old Ramona Suba, both of the Subaks were told were longtime friends of the person that stabbed them, and 49-year-old Jay Larson, who was a letter carrier that was doing what he loved, delivering mail to customers for over a decade when he was stabbed to death and run over. Several others were injured, one a good Samaritan who was trying to help, another a first responder. Seven in all during this stabbing rampage. This all started Wednesday afternoon. Police say 22-year-old Kristen Ivan Soto went to the home of his childhood friend. Soto told police he went there to smoke marijuana and he claims it was laced with an unknown narcotic. That's where prosecutors say he stabbed his first two victims. Then he's accused of stabbing the letter carrier, then breaking into multiple homes, attacking teenage girls with a bat and killing one. He was arrested while stabbing two more victims. A witness who tried to distract Soto while he was attacking his longtime letter carrier sat down with us to recount the harrowing scene. I said, what are you doing? You know, I startled him and he said, he stole money from me. I, th I just shook my head. I said, you gotta be kidding me. And he acted very disillusional, you know, like uh, he was on drugs. That's the way he acted, kind of glassy-eyed and everything, you know, he just, all was mine. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden just released a statement addressing these attacks, saying they are horrified to hear this news. Meanwhile, Soto faces four counts of first-degree murder and seven counts of attempted murder. He appeared in court today, and he was held without bond. We're live in Rockford. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you. This afternoon, dozens gathered near the scene of yesterday's attack to mourn the four lives that were lost. The vigil included local faith leaders and politicians. Among the speakers, the Rockford police chief, she says her department is hurting. This cuts you at the root. I can't imagine what the families are going through. The officers that had to be the first ones on scene and see the victims in those conditions. This is not easy. State leaders from the area say they will be free counseling services available tonight at the Flynn Middle School tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.